DS1074Z oscilloscope is not repaired last time. I felt very disappointed, but I still strongly desire to own an oscilloscope. Fortunately, I will gain low price in the same way as a waste for the production of a judgment of the last century's THS 720p portable oscilloscope. It is no screen failure phenomenon, so I do not know good or bad, but because it's too cheap, it is in line with my consumption ability, so I placed an order quickly, and I checked its information online. The LCD screen it uses is LM32P10, and the price quoted on the internet is very expensive. One screen can buy three of the broken oscilloscope. This screen belongs to the old sharp fluorescent lamp display. The resolution is very traditional 320 240. Interface information on the internet also has. Looks similar to ordinary 320 240 LCD screen. So I bought a very cheap 320 x 240 LCD screen. This is a by the LCD screen. I checked the data sheet on the internet. Compare sequence diagram after. Take the fly line method to fit it. First of all, I from the bad screen down a row line socket. Although it is bad, but it still can be connected. The key is to don't have to spend money on other. This can save precious money for me. Then I will according to pin a function circuit connected in sequence. Because it lacks the corresponding frequency, I added a frequency dividing circuit to it. And well he changed the fluorescent lamp back plan for the LED back plate. And the 7533 to 3.3 3 volts LDO is well dead for the LED driver. However, there is an unstable flash screen when the screen is turned on. If the external cathode voltage of minus 80 volts will be stable for a few minutes and then the flash screen appears again. I think the flat screen phenomenon is consistent with the protein shutdown situation. It should be the cheap problem of this screen. After all, what I bought is broken scrap, so I connected his piece of pin. That is, to close the screen with a 100k resistor and force it up to 5 volts. After starting up, the flat screen no longer appeared, but the image was quite blurred. The cathodic voltage of the oscilloscope was minus 15.4 volts, so I disconnected the cathodic voltage of the oscilloscope. 
and used the external minions 18 volts. I found a broken circuit board of ultrasonic shambo machine. Because there is a DC to DC circuit of 3.7 volts and to 152 volts in it. I first adjusted its partial voltage circuit to output 18.3 volts. They formed a negative voltage output circuit. Beautiful, stable images energy. I was very excited and it seemed to function well. And finally, it was perfectly lighting. The remaining problem is that this screen is too big to be fully put into the enclosure. In order to install the screen, I must remove the redundant PCB from the screen first. See below, the PCB can be discarded and it will not damage the screen, but you should be very careful with cutting. Cut out after I found out that the screen is too thick, and I can't let the perfect closed shell. But for a scrap of the telescope and the pocket me, it's not a problem. The baseline is perfect. I have already made a multimeter, which is four and a half of multimeter. It's really too good. I only have to buy to a telescope prop. I finally have a own oscilloscope. Thanks for watching my video. See you later.